Hello. In this quick video, I will show how you can use Liquibase included in the Oracle SQL command line to capture the current state of your database schema. I will also show how easily you can track and deploy your database changes across your environments. Most importantly, you won't need to write any change sets or change logs. Instead, use two commands and well-known Oracle SQL command line. I am connected to my dev schema. As you can see, I already have some database objects there. Now I will capture the current state of my schema. Using SQL command line connected to my dev, I will execute equipase generate schema with split and SQL options. Equipase will capture all the objects from my dev schema into XML changelog files. Then those files will be automatically moved into created by Liquibase folders. You don't even need to open those XML files. Liquibase will handle it automatically. This command will also create SQL representation of those objects, but these files are only to preview them. The most essential created file is controller XML. This file stores information about the execution order of your changes. OK. Now I am connected to my UAT schema. As you can see, I don't have any objects at UAT at this moment. So using SQL command line connected to my UAT schema, I am executing the command liquibase update changelog file controller XML. Right now liquibase is executing all my changes from XML files all changes that are listed in controller XML file. It's very fast, but let's wait for a few more seconds. And Great, operation completed successfully. So let's preview those changes. Let's run this query once again. And now we can see that there are objects on my UAT schema and a few other objects created automatically by Liquibase. Liquibase uses additional objects like database changelog table, database changelog actions table, or database changelog details view to store information about changes that were executed to your schema. Let's preview data from the database changelog details view. In this view, we have helpful information like the date of execution and the exact SQL executed. Database changelog detail view and database changelog actions table are SQL command line exclusive. Therefore, these are not included in the standalone Liquibase version. OK, now I want to track my changes on that schema. So I will make some changes directly to my dev environment. I will add a new column to countries table and I will create a table called new table. Now I want Liquibase 
to detect and deploy those changes to my UAT schema automatically. What should I do now? I need to capture my dev schema once again. So I will switch back to my SQL command line connection to dev. And first, I will remove files created when I was generating my schema for the first time. And I will execute liquibase generate schema command with split and SQL option once again. Great, operation is completed. Now I will switch to my SQL command line connection to UAT schema and I will run liquibase update command once again. Liquibase built in Oracle SQL command line will automatically know what changes should be added to my UAT schema. Liquibase detects what changes to execute. For example, if those new column and or this table were already there, it would just skip those changes. Great, operation completed successfully. So let's check it on my UAT schema. My table called new table is there. And my countries table has additional description column. So as you can see, Liquibase added a new column to the countries table and created a new table. I hope that this video will help you to start tracking your database deployments right now. If you have any questions, then do not hesitate to contact me. Thanks for watching this video.